Here we are in section 3.3, numbers 14 through 19. Remember the slope is found by taking y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That can also be written as y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. What you can't do is take y1 minus y2 and x2 minus x1. You can't swap those two around. And that is how we get the rise or how much you went up compared to your run. <clears throat> so let us begin. Slope here we're going to take 3 minus a minus 2 over 7 minus 8. That gives us positive 5 over negative 1 simplifies to a negative 5 slope or negative 5 over 1 if you'd like. Number 15 the slope is 6 minus 1 over negative 5 minus 8. And that is 6 minus 1 is 5 over a negative 13, negative 5 thirteenths. Now we should note here these negative slopes, if we were to graph where they are, 8, negative 2, and 7, 3, you'll notice that this is heading, as you go to the right, it is heading down. That, that makes sense that we're headed down, we get the negative slope. So those two things need to correlate. So we, these should be headed down as well. 8, 1 and negative 5, 6, probably somewhere up there. Oh, not as steep. You'll see it's not as big of a number, 5 thirteenths compared to 5. But yeah, same thing. Here we have number 16. Slope is negative 8 minus minus 1 and negative 3 minus a minus 3. So this gives us negative 7 over 0. Bad news. This is undefined. So if I graph these, this better be a vertical line. Negative 3, negative 1, negative 3, negative 8. Oh yeah, look at that, right there. He's straight up and down, that's an undefined slope. Number 17, the slope is, let's do subtraction this way. 9 minus 3, 7 minus a minus 2, and we get 9 minus 3 is 6 over 7 plus 2 is 9 that reduces down to two-thirds. So this slope should be headed up. 7, 9, and negative 2, 3. There we go, and you'll notice it's headed up. Number 18, the slope is 6 minus 6 over negative 5 minus 4, which is 0 over negative 9, which is 0. That turns out to be a perfectly legitimate number where that guy is horrible. Go ahead and plug it into your calculator. If it has a shock function on it, it will tell you not to make it do that. Here it'll spit out the number zero just fine. Zero is horizontal, so we better get, let me see, negative five, six, four, six, and look at that, a straight line that goes horizontal. Okay, number 19, if a road rises 300 feet over a horizontal distance of 3,600 feet, what is the slope? The slope, now we don't have points, but it gives us the rise and the run. That was nice. 300 over 3600. This reduces down, divide by 100, 3 divided by 36, that is a slope of 1 12th. If you punch that into your calculator, you'll notice it is a point zero eight five. That is an 8.5% road grade, for those of you that know what that is. Good.